Hi, greetings. Hey, everybody. So I wanted to offer a teaching on um, the different directions. You know, we work with the sacred directions, the seven sacred directions, um, at least in the practice, the shamanic practice that I do. Um, I honor the seven directions, the east and the south and the west and the north, the up above, the down below, and the within. And sometimes the within is called the now moment. So these directions hold all, each hold their own energies and each hold their own teachings. And I wanted to share just a little bit from um, one of the directions. I seem to work in this direction a lot with people. And when people come to me for healing work, sometimes they're, I don't want to use the word stuck, but sometimes they're residing in the direction of the South. And for me, the direction of the South holds the teachings of our emotions, of our feelings, you know. And I think we're taught in, um, in this society and in, in this culture nowadays um, that anything that feels what we would call negative or bad, and remember, we humans la labeled certain feelings as negative or bad. Um, creator gives us all of our feelings and says that they are all valuable and they all teach us great, great things. But we humans, you know, we don't want to feel fear and we don't want to feel anger or we're made to feel ashamed if we feel anger. And then we've got the shame on top of the anger. And oh, my goodness, it just piles on. But the truth is, is that all of these feelings, our grief and our sorrow and our anger and our fear and our resentment, all of those feelings are powerful, powerful teachers. In fact, they can be more powerful teachers for us than the feelings of love and joy and happiness and connection. You know, these, these feelings that we label as good, as positive, um, we, wanna, we tend to want to stay in that place. But it's through our grief that we understand compassion. It's through our fear that we understand what courage is. So all of these, these um, emotions that we've labeled as bad really are powerful, powerful teachers. So I just wanted to share with you, um, for me, when fear comes up, I've had a lot of people say to me, oh, Robbie, you're not afraid of anything. You know, you just, you jump and you leap and you do, and, you know, nothing scares you, nothing slows you down. And, you know, the truth is really quite the opposite. I feel fear often. Um, I, I feel fear when I embark on something new. I feel fear when um, if I feel that spirit is pushing me into the unknown. Um, sometimes I feel fear before I get up and speak in public or before I push the record button on the video. You know, fear comes up. But what I have learned about fear and what I understand about it now is that fear is simply a message for me to pay attention. To pay attention. When I feel fear, it means that something really important is happening and I need to pay attention. And when I start paying attention to what's happening, to why I feel fearful, to what it is that's going on with me, then that knot, you know, that comes in my stomach, you know, for me, it shows up kind of in my solar plexus, like I've been kicked and then, you know, the heart starts pounding. Um, but when I feel that fear, and when I can connect into it and recognize that that's my body telling me that something really important is happening right now. When I recognize that, those physical symptoms of fear go away. My heart stops pounding. You know, I don't feel like I've been kicked in the gut. And then I can recognize that this moment is important. And what decisions do I need to make around this important moment? So, you know, I invite you to explore these feelings, to explore the South on the medicine wheel. You know, the South is the place of our emotions, of childlike innocence. It's the place of trust and love and growth. And truly, we cannot grow without trust and love. And so I invite you to trust your emotions, all of them, to focus on them and learn from them and see how much you grow using the direction of the South. Blessings to you all.